Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. Thanks for joining us today. You know, I just love reselling. I get super excited about it, but every once in a while we come across something that's just so close to being amazing, but it is an extreme disappointment. I've had a couple of those lately. I'm going to show you one today out in the supply hut in just a few minutes. It all, it just it just breaks my heart to see what I'm going to show you out there today, but I think we're going to make the best of it anyways. And we have some pretty darn cool sales today. Hopefully your sales are going well. Mine are inching back to where they should be. I'm pretty happy. Hopefully that's happening for you as well. Let's take a look. You know, I often talk about sealed VHS, but I like sealed cassette tapes as well. Especially something like this. It's kind of rare. And it's Bruce Willis, The Return of Bruno. And of course, he's in the news lately with the condition he has. And it's a sealed one now that, you know, when you're talking about VHS, there's some markings sometimes. There's an extra seal on the inside. There's watermarks. You don't see that on cassette tape. So it's really, really hard to authenticate and grade and that kind of stuff. But there's a market out there for that stuff as well. 25 bucks for that cassette right there. We had four viewer sales. This is one of them. Hello, Kevin. Big, friend, big fan of Bruce Willis. I remember watching uh, Moon... What is it called? Moonlighting. That's what it was when I was a kid. Probably shouldn't have been at that age, but I was doing it anyways. <laughs> I love that show. The cassette is for my personal collection. Thank you for all you do for charity. Sincerely, Mary from GG Collections 1985. You know, my family's always done charity and we've done that stuff, but it's really not us. It's you guys. We've been able to ramp that up and do more simply because you guys out there are doing it. So we don't really like to take credit for that. But thank you, Gigi's Collectibles, 1985. Hopefully you enjoy the cassette. With the Daytona 500 being last week, this shirt sold, and it didn't surprise me at all, February 18, 2001, Black Sunday. It is not a single stitch or anything. This is in, like, brand new condition. It's a Gildan tag, so it's not super old. It's got the poem on the back, unknown author, about that day and it sold it sold pretty good too 30 bucks for that one i think plus shipping i go back here and grab some posters sold three different sets of posters i think one two of you or maybe even two and we've been talking about those boxes the supply hut boxes and the tubes lately i'm just gonna pull these out because i know i'm gonna have to grab I'll, I'll be showing them to you maybe i'll put my camera off to the side here the three different sales and you can check out the prices for these right here and it's going to be all three of them, which is the Scrooge McDuck one, and then Mickey and the Beanstalk, and then Donald Duck, like on a sailboat. So I'll have to pull all these out. I am going to use my long supply hut boxes until they're gone before I start using these. Although I have some other posters as well. Maybe I'll start using these for the other posters that I haven't listed yet. And we'll continue to use the long box for now because I'm not going to waste these long boxes. I'm going to grab it up here real quick. I'll grab it on the show. See if I can do it one-handed. Probably not the best idea in the world. But we've got these 4x4x48 four by four by boxes from Supply Hut that we've been using. Come on. Cutting them. And they take a little bit of time. But since I already have the boxes, I'm certainly not going to waste them. And we're going to continue to use them and cut them into triangles and cut them into two because you can fit two posters in this. One, two, just barely, and so we'll do that. So those posters have turned out to be really good. And viewers tend to like them as well, which is really cool. About a little under 50% of the sales so far to viewers, and uh, we're appreciative, and hopefully you display them. If you do, send me a picture on Instagram, and I'll post it up. So thanks. Let me read this. I know one is at least to a viewer, Caleb. And thanks, Kevin. My wife is going to love these. I started reselling last July, and people like you and other YouTube resellers truly help us newbies. Thanks again, and God bless. Thank you, Caleb. I hope you enjoy it. You bought all three. Appreciate it. I think just one of those three went to viewers. So if the other one was Angela, maybe you're a viewer. So I'd appreciate it. I do appreciate it, Angela, if you are. But I didn't see a message on there, so... Here we go. Sold this. Got this one from my buddy's house, if you remember, where we got all those Pokemon cards. And this is the Sesame Street. Probably could have made more money individually parting this whole thing out because some of the Sesame Street ones they have like a big bird in a 
in a nest and some of those go pretty good but that one sold pretty good as a lot and it's a lot quicker getting out of here and it sold for i don't have any 51 dollars and 30 cents plus shipping and it will save a lot of time so i am normally the when in doubt part it out guy but right now i'm the when in doubt get it out guy because spring is coming and i want some space and that was the third of our four i think four maybe five i, I don't really know viewer sales today so saw this sesame street in the background of your most recent video i got nostalgic because i had this when i was little you sent an offer i do five percent offers often and uh, i showed it to my wife she said you buy that you buy that right now <laughs> very cool so here we are christopher christopher oh it's dark toy lord lord dark toy lord awesome thank you for the support thank you for your comments we really do appreciate you and i hope you enjoy that every once in a while you come across something that is just so amazing but there's something wrong with it and so i had a buddy of mine mike death pile picker he doesn't really do clothing and so he called me up he was at a buy and he was buying all this stuff that he typically sells and he came across a, a bunch of vintage clothes and i'm like oh my goodness he just knew i'd love them and so he worked a deal for me i paid him he paid the guy he shipped it all to me and i didn't see everything i was out that night with my family we we're out at dinner and i'm like dude i trust you and he's like hey some of this is dry rot i'm gonna buy all this other stuff and we got the dry rot stuff stuff for next to nothing i'm like okay cool whatever and then it gets here and i'm looking at this and i'm like th it is just so disappointing that this is actually dry i've got to show you this stuff i'm still going to sell it it has a little value as like a, a wall hanger people frame this stuff it's that nice that some somebody out there is going to want it and it still goes for you know nowhere near the money it should go for but it still goes for good money this is all new old stock stuff you won't believe and some of the stuff that's not dry rot is amazing and i'm not going to show that to you today but you know what happens it's all right here but since i'm back here i'll show you the sticker wall how it's coming here so if you have a sticker feel free to send it plus i don't know what to think my wife came in here and finally made this bed up i think she might <laughs> Should I be should I be worried? Still haven't decorated anything back here yet. Gonna do some cool stuff in here. Still haven't stocked the fridge. I don't know. We will soon, I suppose. But I haven't put the TV up yet. I'm put a TV right here. Still got a few things. So. I know this seems nuts to some people, but someday, sometime, somebody's gonna come through here, and it's gonna need a place to stay. And I'm like, well, hey, let's have it for him. Check this out, y'all this is absolute insanity i'm gonna list this maybe by the time this video comes out these will be listed if not soon after they're all dry rot i gotta let me put the camera down and show you all right here's three of them i mean this is insanity look at this 1993 jurassic park with tags hangs heavyweight size xl this stuff would be worth a fortune and it's dry rot so if you don't know what that is you know test your shirts if you're ever out there buying you know, and it's tough to do, but you almost have to do it if you're paying big bucks. Somebody tested this one, and you'll see that it just tears. So if you just get a little bit, maybe find a place, you know, on the corner or something, and just pull at it just a little bit. Let me show you. I'm not actually going to do it with this one, but you just take it just like this and just pull it. And if it starts to come apart, you know, you don't have to you know, rip it like crazy, but if you just pull at it and it starts to tear... Like somebody did here it's dry rotted and this is single stitch right there you see that this is new old stock single i mean this is like you don't come across this stuff it's impossible and this one doesn't have a tag on it i don't think but beefy t xl and do you remember that video where that gentleman had this shirt on in there i'm like gosh i should have stopped him i was like dude i'll give you 50 bucks for your t-shirt but new old stock right there absolute craziness and i'm gonna auction them off i'm gonna start at 99 cents let me show you the rest here right there 1994 also dry rot all of them but that's I mean, that would be a crazy shirt this one this one's cool i like it i don't think it's gonna have much value with dry rot at all unfortunately i'm sure there's this probably could be a really expensive buy it now shirt 50 100 bucks maybe 200 bucks who knows because it would have been new, but it is dry rot. It's on a giant tag. 
That's pretty cool, Tooltex. It's a Maverick. I thought it was Dick Tracy first time I looked at it, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that's Western, and it is definitely Maverick. This would have been from the 90s movie with uh, Mel Gibson in it. I remember going to seeing that with my grandmother. She loved James Garner and the Maverick and all that. And so it's got the hand over here. So that's cool, but it has issues with it besides being dry, dry rotted. But you can see somebody. There you go. See that? This probably is my favorite one. I mean, that if that thing was not dry rotted and fit me, I would keep it. I mean, that look at that. That is so cool. Got the firefly there and the mushroom. And I mean, that thing is awesome right there. So these will still get money auction wise. I'm going to put them out there on auction. This should too. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably put it out there. It might only go for 10 bucks, but I'll put it out there. So, but these should still bring in some decent money. We'll see. Check out some auctions if you want to keep track of them, see what they're going for. I'll put them out in the next week or so. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't surprised by that. I knew it was going to happen, but I, what I was surprised by is how nice of shirts that they were that were dry running. I still haven't opened some of those bags that Mike sent me, and I'm super excited. So I paid up for a bunch of this stuff with Mike, but we're still going to make some great money. Mike, thank you, by the way. And hey, while we're talking about this, have you ever bought something you thought was going to be amazing, got it home, and you were super disappointed for whatever reason something was broken? It wasn't what you thought. It was a, a retro item instead of an original. I have a couple of those stories. One was a Star Wars poster I thought was the real deal, and it turned out not to be the real deal, plus those Nike shoes from not too long ago. So at any rate, thank you all for joining us in the Supply Hut. Don't forget, code Commonwealth 5% off. Let's head back in. Pepper's in here. Begging for treats. I already gave you some. Looks like I miscounted viewer sales because I got another one. Marty Janetti. This is the Rockers. This was kind of after... The well, in my opinion, after the golden age, I'm trying to see a date on that 91. So, to me, I mean, obviously, to me, the mid 80s were it, but I wasn't a big fan of the rockers, anyways. So this one sold itself for it sold for ten dollars free shipping. And this one, I think, a viewer sent me with some other stuff the hillbilly gym that's inside and the rowdy roddy. I kept those in the Ultimate Warrior. And it's sold to Josh. He says, these were my favorite toys as a kid. I love your channel and watch it every day. If you're interested, I do a couple of sealed VH. I have a couple of sealed VHS on my store. No great ones, though. <laughs> All right. So it's the Geek... I got to spell it. The Geekery Closet. <laughs> I like that name. Speaking of sealed VHS, John and Michelle, Black Bear 825 on eBay, sent me this sealed VHS, which... Is really cool. Field of Dreams, one of my favorite all time movies, along with Bull Durham, both Kevin Costner baseball movies. Absolutely love them. I've got a little story to tell. Maybe I'll tell in a little bit about that particular movie. So these ones aren't worth a ton, but to me, they're really cool. And I'm so glad you sent it to me. That one I really, really do like. So thank you very much. I've been selling on eBay for 15 years with me quitting my job eight months ago to do it full time with my husband, our eBay store, and I already mentioned that, which you might recognize from a couple recent sticker purchases on CommonwealthPicker.com. I do remember that because your names, John and Michelle, is the same names as the folks that I bought this off of and a bunch of that stuff, the Pokemon stuff. So, at any rate, you are our favorite YouTuber reseller to watch. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And says, loves the family and the pets. Uh, Y'all want boots? Huh? I'm keeping Pepper. Y'all want boots? You can have her. Just that quick, and I got another little beggar in here, don't I? Huh. All right, this Virginia Tech buy just keeps getting better and better. I knew it was good when I bought it. I didn't think it was this good. <laughs> this is a Virginia Tech baseball jersey, like legit worn on the field jersey. And it has... The name of the player, Andrew Wells, on the back. And I think my wife did a little research on that player and whatever. But she put it out there for 95 bucks, and it did not take very long. Just a few days, and it sold. You ever come across, like, authentic, field-worn, game-worn stuff, court-worn, whatever it is, buy it. It almost always sells well because the quality is crazy good, just like that. And a little hint, if you live out there near a, a university, oftentimes... They will do auctions. Sometimes it's like the uh, the booster club and stuff, and they open it up to just the booster club. So if you know somebody who's in one of these booster clubs, pay attention to when those happen. And sometimes you can buy that stuff. Not all schools do that, but I know of 
two that do in the state of Virginia, and I keep an eye on them. I've only bought from them one time, and I ended up buying a bunch of stuff that I had to flip locally because it was really big, but they were pretty easy flippers. Got a couple of ET vintage pennants out of the Yukon bin right here. And that's the Gertie one, the Gertie Hart pennant. And those, I think these are going for like six plus shipping. So combine that. They went on an offer, I think. So I'm not quite sure, but you know, it gives you an idea. The pennants don't go for quite as much as the pins, but they're still cool. Big shout out to Ivan on these, by the way. They are awesome. And they sell pretty consistently. Next one is something that you saw, well, not really. It was a retail arbitrage item at Walmart after Christmas that my family bought, but I found one not long after that at the Goodwill. I know y'all are saying, are you never gonna go to the Goodwill again? Well, me and my son went because we were meeting my folks for dinner at the Mexican restaurant and they weren't gonna be there for a little while and Goodwill's right next door. And I went over and found this one. I am up in the space up top where we keep all the supplies and boxes and all the stuff. Supply hut, supply hut boxes. Supplyhut.com, code Commonwealth, 5% off. What do you think of that? By the way, thank y'all for using that. A lot of you are just coming back over and over again. I really appreciate it. So is Charlie. And this one right here, Sally. So you remember me picking these up? Well, this is an, another one I picked up. And I think we put it out, I think it was five bucks at, at Goodwill. We put it out for $19 plus shipping. And it sold pretty quick. We still have a bunch of these, but we paired them up. Um, with Jack and putting them out there for a little bit more and probably gonna wait till next Christmas Until a lot of these sell out at this low price, but I figured we'd do this one a little lower And sell it and we did and we're you know five and a 19 isn't great But this is actually really easy to ship. We have the right size box from Walmart And we're just gonna shove it in there. We're gonna put it in a trash bag condense it down. This is not good <laughs> What are you doing? You can be eating Sally's foot, huh? You can't be eating Sally's foot. Uh-oh. I better save her. At any rate, 19 plus shipping. It's not a huge profit. It's probably three, eight, about 11 bucks. <laughs> Put her feet like this. Speaking of shipping and supply hut, Rhonda bought plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over on CommonwealthPicker.com. And Rhonda, thank you for that message. She said she lost her husband not too long ago. And... Uh, they were doing eBay together, and but she's back at it. So, Rhonda, thank you for sharing that story, and we are sorry for your loss, and I do hope that you enjoy our table. I appreciate it. <laughs> These guys have been sitting here for so long. Not the 127 sale last year, but the sale two years ago. That's when we bought these, and they finally sold these. Strawberry made in Japan. See Japan right there? Anthropomorphic. And sometimes those sell, a lot of those sold really, really quick. And some of them we still have left, I think, right there. But, uh, you know, if they're anthropomorphic, kind of cool looking, they'll sell. These look a little funky. They're winking, you know. And it did sell. We got them super cheap. And they sold for, one of them didn't have a cork, so that might have been the problem. Sold for $9 plus shipping. Sold one of my absolute favorite pins. These are starting to get low, I think. I have to check the Check the, uh, well, I never get it right. That's going to be the last one. There it is. See, it's a little low in here. Getting the ET and drag. Right here, it's going to Corinne. These are cool. These go for $7 plus shipping. I think that is my favorite one of the pins for sure. I don't know why this didn't want to focus for the old lady. Anyway, Corinne, thank you. She says, hi, Kevin. She says she's buying it for her mom. They used to play a game called Hide the ET. <laughs> <laughs> when she was a kid now we just buy each other et stuff for the holidays says this would make a great gift for easter are you barking at the mm, i think are you really barking here is this what you're barking at oh my goodness you're scared sally is a little scary <laughs> we gotta play a game in here <laughs> What was I talking about? Anyways, an Easter gift or a mother's gift. Corinne Kamrowski. So you got a Polish last name. I just like, I, I don't know why. But it looks, and I, I you're from Wisconsin, which makes sense. Really cool. Ski, by the way, for those of you who aren't Polish, is denotes where a person is from. 
like the oh. name of a city or something. All right, I better take care of Wallen. Sold some backs to some Bucky O'Hare toys in an auction. I actually thought they'd go for a little bit more. I probably should just put them out there buy it now for like 25 bucks, but I didn't. Figured they'd sell quicker this way and wouldn't because they could be long tail, but I was hoping for 10 to 15. They sold for 850 plus shipping. Y'all remember Bucky O'Hare? I bought some of these in the package before and sold them and they sell pretty darn good. Some of you may remember. Anyway, 850 plus ship. I grabbed some club head covers out of Arizona and out of Washington bin. And then I grabbed one putter head cover out of the Tennessee bin. And I think this is the big winner, 14 something plus shipping, but all together 38 plus shipping, three separate sales. Not too bad. I love that stuff. It's not big money, but boy, is it easy. Our job, Blue Ridge Mom's in here and she won't stop shipping for a minute. So she's just going to keep shipping while we're doing this. Making noise over there. <laughs> All right, Reagan. Well, what do you got to sell out of the Commonwealth? But we've got so much, by the way. These bags have sold. We're down to, at the time of filming here, we're down to, we had 72 sales, 28 left right here at the time of filming. So there you go. Not too many left. And by the time you see this video, it'll be probably less than that. But we'll see. What do you got? Lad, Jeremiah, Debbie, Jamie, Daniel, Brandon, Joseph, Dana, Vicky, Heather, Jessica, Cindy, Brad, Stacy, Jonathan, Courtney, Chris, Larry, Robot, Ro Ro <laughs> Robert, and he has Ozark treasures. Julie and I like Robart. I like that. <laughs> That's a good name. And Richard. <laughs> and He's... Richard. Oh, and it drop lips. Yeah. My buddy, he helps run the Facebook group, Garage Sale Nation. Thank you, Richard, for hey, all Richard. your help. <laughs> My wife says, hey, and that is growing, y'all. If you're looking for highway sales, Go over in this this spring, this summer, this fall. Go over to Facebook, the Facebook group, um, Garage Sale Nation. All right, Reagan, and we've got a ton more thank yous still to go for the stickers and the bags. We're just kind of divvying it up by day. So if you haven't heard your name yet, we're keep keep hope alive. We got it. Thank you very much. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, on no sales in here today. Just I'm so excited about so many things that are going on. And I just can't wait to tell you about them, but it's just not right yet. It's just not quite the time just yet, but soon, soon. And they'll be coming out with two or three announcements. So I guess there is one thing right now, the Trash to Cash meetup. We met and announced that on the Trash to Cash podcast the other day in Vegas. I think the only place right now that there's a link is on the Trash to Cash YouTube page in the video description. I think that's the only place right now. And, and then in the Discord, but there's only a few people in there as well. And then we're going to put it on the face to, or the uh, Trash to Cash Facebook group. There'll be a link in there. Limited amount of tickets if you're interested in going April 21st. Excuse me, April 21st to 22nd. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So out in Vegas. Hopefully we can see some of you there. So there you go. You have to buy a ticket. It's 40 bucks. Um, we're doing a couple of things, 21st, kind of just hanging out, 22nd, we're going to have a dinner, and it should be a good time. So hopefully we can meet some of you out there, some other announcements coming up. And I just want to thank you, because all this stuff that I'm able to do and plan and, and all these exciting things, none of it's possible without you, and especially this channel. So thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe. It's really, really kind of you to do that, and hit that alert bell, and and leave a comment so I can get to know you, like you feel like you know me, but I don't know that many of you out there and I wish I knew you a little bit better. The only way I can do that is through the comments. So leave a comment, I'd appreciate y'all. And I can't wait to see you next.